we're all in the same space, but just black people, we're just gonna like interact with each other in a different way and just carve out our own spaces. Just that's that's what we've been doing in these sort of like white dominate spaces since you know, we've been here. The Black Web is an extension of the Black community. I manage the African American Research Library and Cultural Center. This is a collaborative partnership with institutions across the nation. So for us, it was important that first we say as Black memory workers, what are we doing to document the important culture and, and moments that are happening in the digital space? typically who web archives are very resource rich institutions and normally predominantly white PWI kind of higher ed institutions and typically they're not doing a lot of content around what is actually happening in the culture in their communities they're mainly kind of auto archiving their web presence it's less seeing like different kinds of websites and more just seeing uh, how black culture manifests on these like larger platforms. For me, when I think of that, I think of more like black Twitter and like, you know, like, like SoundCloud and like YouTubers and stuff like that. It's just part of the same trend of black people just driving culture. And since the internet is now at the front of culture, black people are at the front of that too. It's a kind of like a for us bias project. We, we want to create an opportunity where we set the course and not have it dictated to us how we should consider um, documenting uh, the Black experience on the web. I do hope that, you know, as we have this transition in our country, well, at least trying to dismantle systems and, that are, are exclusionary and that, that we figure out a way to, to think broadly about archival practices in one way that we're trying to challenge that is to challenge who, whose story gets told, whose story gets preserved. My hope is that that when it comes together, it's a uh, cohesive and it, it can give some kind of uh, overview or simulation of what was happening in 2022 when someone goes to look at that content in in 2027. It's huge in terms of just even just visibility. Like how many of these things would people not even know about if they couldn't see it on Twitter or even like even just having a phone that can like film, you know, police interactions. Like imagine just how much of this stuff was going on that just no one will ever know about because uh, they just couldn't record it and they couldn't, you know, broadcast it to, to a lot of people. Just in terms of just visibility, I think the internet has been huge. I think just the, the tools that it's given activists to just get their messages out there um, has been a huge uh, shift. Our culture is one that has added great value and I say our culture, I mean black culture, is one that has added great value and spice and all of the, some of the interesting things about our, our world. And in this particular moment, we wanna make sure that, that those things aren't lost to history.